I would explain material science to a non-scientist as a as how atoms are actually structured and come together and allow us to um, envision certain properties, allowing those properties to be you know, engendered into that material. We process those atoms and, and th those materials and, and eventually have a, a performance outcome. We want these materials to actually be applicable. And so it's taking fundamental nanoscale, what's happening with these atoms, how are they structured, and making them perform for us in the real world. So basically, we get um, compounds or chemicals where we apply them to use as diodes or to use them as transistors so we can use them for sensors and stuff like that. Society depends so much on all of this new technology but there's not necessarily materials that can be used to make that technology yet. So in order to expand this we have to create those materials and we can do that computationally by looking at the different types of ways these materials interact, figuring out how the most optimal conditions can create these new materials. We can do it experimentally. And so the things that society needs is really made up of so many different disciplines. You cannot simply invent new technology with just chemistry or just engineering, just physics. So it really becomes a collaboration of all of these different disciplines and it breaks down into materials, which is just what is this technology made of. Typically when I get asked that question, I break it down like material science is broken up into three categories, metals, ceramics, and polymers, and pretty much at that point I lose everybody. 